that a future TCA board could conduct additional studies in the future if it was determined. In our lifetime, I don't expect anything's ever going to change. But in the future, it is quite possible traffic could become really bad. Uh, additional traffic relief efforts might be necessary. And in a, an entire new uh, traffic relief study might be done that could necessitate further extension of the roadway. are based upon a false narrative that has been repeated many times by uh, the senator that it, she's merely trying to codify the actions that this agency took um, a couple years ago. It's expressly what we did not do. We never said that it was going to terminate um, outside the boundaries of San Clemente. We said that during our lifetimes, we might not expect that it ever goes beyond that, but we were gonna leave, because we don't have a perfect crystal ball, decisions to be made in the future about mobility and transportation needs to be made to um, the members of the boards of the different agencies at that time, facing whatever those current circumstances might be in the future. It is my honor to serve you. My first order of business is protecting you and this wonderful city, not only for today, but forever. We have an ever-present and looming danger of the Transportation Corridor Agency building a scar of concrete and steel through our wonderful city. The toll road is a clear and present danger to the families, to the children, and all citizens of our city. As representatives of San Clemente on the TCA board, Mayor Ward and I are outvoted 20 to 2 every time in regards to protecting our city. They will use crony capitalism to destroy our neighborhoods with a grotesque toll road. This would have a devastating impact on home values and the viability of our city going into the future. They want to steal from us the charm and specialness of the Spanish village by the sea. Enough is enough. They must be stopped. After 15 years of opposition to a toll road that went to San Onofre, TCA tried to draw a line of a new alignment that went through the heart of San Clemente. Our residents and business owners told the city to fight this alignment and stop it. We have done that. We have fought very hard since 2016. In March of 2020, TCA stopped the planning of that alignment, but they will not give up our open space and want us to keep it available to them should they decide to run another road in the future. There are two bills now that are brought forth by Senator Pat Bates that are going to go uh, to the Senate, SB 760 and 761. 760 protects all of South County and stops the toll road at Oso Parkway. 761 protects all of San Clemente's open space and everything that we hold dear for San Clemente and our quality of life. If TCA is allowed to come through our open space, it will not only hurt our open space, if they are able to connect to the five, the five is widened and many businesses and homes are lost. For example, all of Ralph's and popular businesses like Zebra Coffee, those are a complete take and they are gone and replaced by the widening of the freeway. San Clemente residents and businesses need to know this is a threat to the rest of our city and our future. San Clemente has always been good about standing up for this city and for our quality of life. This is one time that we need to do it and we need to win this fight and stop having a toll road hang over our heads. Please support Senator Pat Bates and these two bills. I urge you to go to the city's website Look up the email address and the support letters that we have included for you. 
please urge all of your friends and business owners that you know to also write in and support these bills. Thank you very much.